Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer, and today we're taking a look at the Edify TWS1 Pros. Now, these headphones are at what I would consider the budget end of the spectrum. They currently cost around £50, just under, and you can sometimes find them on offer for just under £40. Now, at that price point, I really wouldn't expect much. At the end of the day, these offer, in theory, good quality, sound quality, but also, more importantly, fantastic battery life, which makes them, I think, a very interesting proposition. I'm going to start off, though, with talking about the design. I really like the grey and gold that they've gone with. You can also get this in an ivory colour, but I really like the grey and gold. I think it looks really classy. And if I put them in my ears, you can notice that actually they have a pretty slim profile and they don't stick out too much. And generally speaking, I think they look really good. Now, these don't have the fancy noise cancellation technology you'd probably find in more expensive headphones, but what you are getting is a decent amount of noise isolation from the earphone design, which is always good just to help reduce background noise. One thing that these do have is Qualcomm Adaptive, uh, Aptex Adaptive. Now, again, I wouldn't expect to see that in headphones that are this affordable, but they do, which means you're going to get low latency, you're going to get the ability to transcode decent audio codecs, so high quality audio, and it, I think it basically will give you the best chance of getting good sound quality um, with these headphones. They're also dust and uh, water resistant, not waterproof, but I think that's what I'd expect from this. Um, they also obviously have a pair of microphones built in so you can make phone calls. And generally speaking, I think they're a really interesting proposition. I even love this really tiny charging case, um, which is a good design. It feels fairly well made for the money. Um, and that is what's providing the extra 30 hours on top of the 12 hours of battery life you're getting from the earphones. So that's 42 hours. Now, I haven't tested them to 42 hours. Um, I need my phone too much to be able to do that. However, I have let them run down and I did see about 11 hours overnight um, and I think they weren't completely charged. So that certainly um, checks out, which is great. So given that the um, earphones are definitely giving you that amount of battery off, I'd like to think this case will too. So the most important thing of any pair of headphones is sound quality, because if they don't sound good, then what's the point? Sound quality wise, I think these are good. They're not the best headphones I've ever listened to, but I would have been, if you just put them in my ears and said they were the latest Sony budget earphones for 80 or 90 pounds, I would have taken your word for it. They sound that good. I think the, the, the thing that I found with another pair of Edify headphones I've tried, which a review is coming of soon, is that they're a little bit bass heavy. Now, that's not to everyone's taste, and personally, I found them a little bit too much so. However, the bass isn't completely insane, and so they still provide a pleasant listening experience. The highs were fairly good, and the mids weren't completely lost. So for me, I think sound quality-wise, you can enjoy these. So listening to these, I, I really didn't find anything majorly wrong with them. It was an enjoyable listening experience. And I think that really was added to by the fact that they're very, very comfortable. Definitely one of the more comfortable pairs of headphones that I've recently tried, which is interesting because they're actually like a hard plastic design with a silicon ear tip. So that's definitely a good thing. Of course, these also have built-in microphones, uh, which you can use to make phone calls with. Now, they do say they have noise cancellation on the microphone. They're not noise cancelling headphones. Um, I tried it out. You know what? It's fine. The microphones are what I'd expect from a cheaper pair of headphones. Um, but to be honest with you, I've tried some very expensive headphones that didn't sound great in terms of microphone either. So I think they're fine. I wouldn't say these are great, great headphones for conference calls, but they're certainly acceptable. This is a sound test with the Edifier TWS-1 Pros. So this is the sound quality you'd expect from microphones on the TWS-1 Pros. The thing is, I, I need to bring this back to the price because I think it's really important. At 50 or even 40 pounds, these do definitely represent fantastic value for money. Um, they might not sound the best. They might not have the absolute best feature set. But I think at this price, I can't think of any better headphones that I'd buy in terms of in-ear true wireless headphones. So there you have it. I, I can't do anything but recommend them. Obviously, if you have more money to spend, you might want to look at the WF-1000XM4s, which I really enjoyed. And uh, there's a link to above at the moment. But generally speaking, if you want a budget pair of headphones, you could do much worse than to pick up these. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about these headphones, pop them in the comment section below. I'll try and help you as much as possible. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe as it really does help. Thank you very much for watching and I do hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.